In this video we're going to examine how to look at your laps overlaid on satellite imagery from Google Earth. A feature that I found particularly useful as I've started to learn new tracks and wanted to be able to look at line and compare it with other drivers to be able to get their input. And so here I've got an instance of Ray Studio Analysis open and I filtered it by myself uh, so I can just see my laps and I'm going to click on the last race that I did at Castle Coombe a few weeks ago. I'm going to open up the test it's going to open a lot of pages that I usually use, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go up to the left hand side, click on File, and I'm going to click on Data Export. Now what it's going to do is it's going to give me this screen, and it's going to give me some options for being able to download the data. All sorts of different variations from CSV to putting it into Excel, but I want to be able to make sure that highlighted here is Google Earth. Then I'm going to click on the laps that I want to be able to see. Now you could do one, but I'm actually going to do three. Um, all similar sort of times, so 15.2, 15.2, and I'm going to do 3. There's another one there as well. I'm going to browse the location that I want to save it. I'm going to say desktop. You can put it anywhere you like. I'm just going to say desktop for the ease of being able to find the file. And I'm going to put James um, Fast Laps uh, May 2019. And I'm going to click on save there. I'm going to make sure it's going to tell me that uh, it's ready to go and I make sure the right laps are highlighted that I want and I'm going to click save and exit. Right now, that's all I need to do in the AIM software. The next thing I need to do is be able to load up Google Earth. Now this is the one that you have to go and download. Uh, it's easy free download uh, from Google and I'm going to click on Google Earth and this is going to load up uh, on my uh, laptop. So I'm going to close the uh, guides and the quizzes and games and it's just going to load up um, Google Earth, anyone who's used it know that you can zoom in on any particular location, very useful information. But what I want to be able to see is I want to see the race lap. So I'm going to click up over here on File, I'm going to click on Open, and I'm going to find James's Fast Laps, May 2019. I'm going to click on Open, and you can see that the map is slowly going to zoom in on the location as to where I was. And you can see the track map loading up nicely that is there. Right now what it's done is it's overlaid the data um, and you can see all of my laps that are here but they're all yellow right now so we need to change that quickly so if I go over here and I click this drop down arrow here I can change some of the information so we'll make lap number three yellow if I right click on this one and I click on properties I can make that one red and if I do the same thing here with this one as well if I right click on this one and I click on properties, I can change the style and color, and I can change that one to green. Now if I start to zoom in on the map, it's going to show me the information overlaid on the actual um, satellite imagery from Google. So right now I'm just using the mouse, you can use whatever mechanism you use to be able to zoom in. And depending on the corner you want to be able to see, let's go up to the S's, the first chicane. You can zoom in closer and closer and closer. Uh, interestingly, there was actually a car on track when the satellite imagery was taken. But what you can see now is you can see all three laps that I just highlighted, the red, yellow, and green laps, as they're overlaid on the actual circuit itself. And so this gives you a really good idea of where you're driving on the track with actual references that we can see. One of the challenges when we use the GPS feature on the AIM uh, Race Studio Analysis is it's very hard sometimes to have the context as to what you're looking at. So here you have the option of being able to see your line. Interestingly, the green line is very different on this particular lap. Um, and as you scroll around the track, you've got all sorts of information you can see. So a very useful feature. Now, what I find is that I want to be able to reference this later on and be able to use this information. So one of the things that I like to be able to do is to be able to save these um, images so that I can reference them later, but not necessarily have to access Google Earth. So I click up here on File, and I click on Save. I can go down here and click on Save Image. This changes the uh, experience, and I can sh uh, save different uh, pieces of information. So uh, I can edit the option of the legend here. So if I wanted just to be able to see which laps, I can say, look, I just want to see you know, information about which runs I was using. I can go up here, and I can edit the map here, and I can say, James Fast Laps, and I can say that this was in May. Um, 2019 and it's listed all here. Now next thing I can do is I can say what resolution I want. Usually I save uh, at the maximum, saves quite a large file image but it allows you to really zoom in on the data 
uh, as you need to, but depending on how big you want the file and where you're going to put it, you can change the, 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 the parameters here. I click on maximum and then I click on save image. It's going to ask me where I want to save it and as a JPEG, I'm going to say desktop again. I'm going to say James um, fast lapse overlay and I'm going to click on save. And what this is going to do, it may take a little bit of time to be able to save because it would be quite a large file. But now that image is saved and now I have the option if I go back to my desktop you'll be able to see that I now have um, these are the laps that I saved earlier and if I double click on the picture you can now see that I have that picture but interestingly if I click on the zoom button now I have the option of going very detailed in terms of the information and seeing my race laps that are here overlaid on that particular image which I found to be of particular use as I'm starting to learn the track and be able to reference that with my fellow drivers so we can see this information. Now, talking to the people today, and they're always saying, well, there may be some slight variations in terms of the satellite imagery being able to pick up and a perfect overlay. But I found so far that this has been particularly useful and, and, and relatively accurate in terms of the experiences that I've had, especially as I start looking at consistency through one of the corners that I'm trying to work on. So if I zoom back down a little bit here and I scroll over to the last corner, which is called um, Camp Corner, um, you can see, in fact, it's easier if I do it in the Google document itself. If I scroll here and zoom in, you can see this is the last corner and I'm finding that I'm relatively inconsistent going through this corner. And you can see that it all relatively starts in terms of the turn-in. And there is inconsistency there. And as I scroll in even more, you can see that there is sometimes when I cut the corner quite considerably, other times when I get the line right, other times variations. And so that's something I need to work on where I can actually focus right down here. Again, a car was probably on here or definitely was on here when the imagery was taken, but it shows as I can start looking at points and be able to reference this with other drivers. So hopefully this is useful information and I look forward to seeing in the comments if this is something that you use. Thank you very much.